blender artist and enthusiast alike. How many times have you ever modeled a human form in Blender and struggled with polygon creation and sculpting, even creating those nasty ingons along the way? Or having the challenges with proportions? Well, let me introduce you to a cleaner way of producing a human form in Blender without all the fuss of creating the form one polygon at a time. Let me introduce you to MakeHuman at MakeHumanCommunity.org. MakeHuman is a free and open source 3D computer graphics software designed for the prototyping of photorealistic humanoids. It's developed by a community of programmers, artists, and academics alike interested in 3D character modeling. You can go to the website and download a version for your PC or Mac and start creating humanoids right now for export to your Blender projects. Make Human gives you many options for human form from race to age to adjusting proportions and even adding clothes and more. This is not meant to be a comprehensive tutorial on Make Human or Blender, but to introduce you to the possibilities of humanoid creation with Make Human and also to show you how easy it is to import it into Blender. I am using MakeHuman 1.2 for this example. When you first open MakeHuman, you are given a default humanoid form. In the macro section on the left, you can see we have global changes that can affect race, gender, age, proportions, and the like. By moving these sliders, we can choose what type of humanoid we will create. You can see the possibilities when I move the age slider to give me the age that I want for my humanoid. So for our example here, I will create a 20 year old male. Okay, for this example we will keep everything else in the middle range, but you can see the options available in the macro section. The menu tabs give us controls over modeling details as shown by clicking the secondary tabs underneath the main ones. You can also see more options on the right. We can also further define our form by selecting geometries and choosing filters on the left to give us more selections on the right for defining our form. In this case, I select male in the tag filter form and then to the right I choose male muscle 13290. We can choose more details in geometries, including clothes, that we'll export to Blender as well. Let me at least add some pants and shirts to keep our ratings good. You can also find more assets and plugins on the Make Human site that can be added to the software. Under Materials, you can apply a material to your figure that will export as well. In this case, I will choose the middle aged skin tone. You can also choose to pose or animate and explore some of the other features of your humanoid as you so desire. But just for fun, let's select Pose, Animate, and then choose a pose. Uh, let's see, give our humanoid a pose chosen from the right. Let's say maybe a flying pose. There we go. We're not going to get too involved in poses and other features at this moment. For now, we want to export our humanoid to Blender as he is. But before we do, you may want to look closer at your humanoid. Controls on Make Human for navigating the viewer are not the same as they are on Blender, but are very easy to remember. By holding down the left mouse button and moving the cursor, we can rotate our form. If you have a three button mouse with a scroll wheel in the center, you can zoom in or out. If you do not have a three button mouse, you can hold down the right mouse key with the cursor in the viewer and move to zoom in or out. You can also choose preset views such as front, side, top, bottom, by clicking the menu icons at the top. 
Not bad. You may have noticed that our figure is not completely anatomically correct. I chose not to add those at this moment to keep the figure again at a G rating. But you can go to the Make Human site and download the assets and plugins necessary to add these features to your form if you so desire. So let's save our figure first in Make Human in case we want to make any changes later. So click the second icon to save and give it a name. For this I will say Mail. Then you may be wondering where is it going to be saved to? Do you see the little three box or three dots box here? Click that and your options will appear. I'm just going to save to a folder I created on my desktop I named Make H. You'll probably want to keep this in a folder to access with your Blender file. So you will see I have a file saved with an MHM extension. Now let's go to our third icon over at the top and choose to export the character. The mesh formats offered are varied, but many will export to Blender. I like to use the FBX or Filmbox format. It seems to work well with Blender. The FBX format is a gold standard and support for a variety of data in its formats. The FBX supports 3D models, scene hierarchy, materials, lighting, animations, bones, skinning, well you name it, as well as blend shapes. So it works well with Blender as far as I know. So with FBX selected, let me choose my Make H folder on my desktop. Say give it a name, say Human FBX. and export. And we should be done. Just save your Make Human project again before you close. Oh, before you close, let me show you why I like this so much. Look at the top menu icons and choose wireframe. Now look closely at how efficiently the software is in creating this form. Hey, do you see any ingons? I think that's pretty cool. So let us look in our Make H folder. You can see we have the saved human file, the MHM format, and the FBX export. But we also have a folder called Textures. We created this in the Make Human for our form uh, once we exported the file to this folder. So let's open the Textures folder and we will see the UV maps already generated for this form. These will import into Blender, but you can also modify these as needed to make the form more lifelike or whatever changes you want to make to it. You also notice the normal maps are included for more believable textures on the form. Okay, let's close Make Human and open Blender 2.8. By the way, for this example, I'm using 2.81. Let's remove the cube by selecting X and removing the cube. So let's go to the front view by pressing 1 and Shift S to set our cursor at the world origin. Okay, so let's choose File and Import FBX and let's choose our humanoid. And there we go. Let's zoom out just a bit and switch to render by pressing Z in the viewport and choose render. Now let me move the default light so you can see better. Okay, let me change the strength to, oh, well, let's change it to 20,000. I'm going to duplicate this light by pressing Shift D a few times so I can light the subject from all angles. This isn't lit for a scene particularly, I'm just doing this so that we can illuminate the character. Okay, well now how long did that take? 
not long at all. If you click the figure, you'll see the materials are all in place. The clothes and the skin are mapped separately. If you switch to the shading mode, you'll see the nodes are in place for both. You can make adjustments for each to change the texture qualities. The eyes would probably need something extra in this example, but for the most part, you have your figure in Blender ready to use. And again, let's switch over to edit mode and you'll see a well laid out form with polygons and no ingons. Sweet. Well, I hope you enjoyed our short tutorial introducing MakeHuman for Blender import. There's so many possibilities for using this software with Blender and just wanted to share. You can find my course on mastering Blender on the Udemy platform. My current course teaches the properties editor using Blender 2.79 and 2.8. The foundations are laid in this course using 2.79, but it's still instrumental for 2.8 with many resources to learn. You'll find a special price link in this description for lifetime access to this course. And you'll find it below in this video. So be sure to check it out. Happy blendering everyone.